guys, what's up? Welcome to the 13th episode of Climb Through for Stanich, and we're climbing the left unconquerable. Before I start off this episode, I've got some pretty exciting news for you. I got an opportunity to write an article for Every Last Rock, a website where you can find a lot of psych and a lot of stuff that has everything to do with rock climbing. I'm super grateful for that, so go check them out, the link's in the description below. Alright, let's keep the site going and let's climb the left unconquerable. According to the UKC, it's a pretty good choice for your first E1. First E1? Anyone? So I placed the nut before setting off, and even though it wouldn't have saved me from a ground fall, it would have at least lessened the impact on my legs, potentially saving me from a broken ankle. So then you get a thumbs down jam, put your right foot in the crack, you reach the brake, and then when you put your feet high, you can reach the jug above the brake. To place the first piece, I would put my fingers in the crack first to find out what size I need. Usually four fingers, or like a perfect hand jam, that's a yellow cam. And if it's like three fingers around that, that's a red cam. The next section is climbed with a combination of hand jams and you feed both inside of the crack and on the face. There's plenty to choose from, so feel free to do whatever feels natural for you. Where the crack starts trending leftwards, place a green hex and then make a tricky move. Jam the crack where it's forming a tiny roof and kind of match up the jam so we can reach left. If it feels too hard, make sure you have your feet high enough to reach for the crack on the left. The crux is just above the place where the crack runs out and the holes get slope here. I placed a yellow cam and even though it was a pretty solid placement, I was like, nah, I don't really trust it enough, so I placed another one. Scoping out the initial moves made me not trust my gear even more, so I decided to put a third one in. I was a bit pumped. Pretty annoyed with myself, but at least I knew it was gonna hold. I found the crux very technical, but the moves are super fun. Get a pretty good side pull for your left, put your feet up, and then instead of reaching across for a gust on, match the side pull using it as an undercut with your right, and then go for the flake with your left. When you get the flake, Press with your right foot in the opposite direction and flag with your left foot to prevent barn dooring and then just go for the jug above the flake. In case you found my rambling too confusing, Watch the video very closely and pay attention to my body position during the crux. From there, place another nut. For me, red offset worked pretty well. From that point, it's pretty much chuck ladder at the top, although I did use hand jams in a diagonal break near the top. And it is pretty much safe to say, if you didn't fall from the crux, you're not gonna fall after it for sure. Just take your time, have fun, and remember it is not a race.
This was an unconquerable stunage. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like jamming and technical steep climbing, this is for sure an ideal first V1. The crack is just pure joy to jam, and then the crux is just icing on the cake. What a brilliant route! Like, seriously. <laughs> so, what do you think? Are you gonna give it a go? Hopefully, you feel as psyched about this route as I do. So, get on it and let me know how it went. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Check out my article at Every Last Rock. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm with combinations. And instead of reaching across for your gut, let me pull this right, using it as a. Uh,